Allison with Millennial Moms. I post every Friday on food here on this channel. Today I've got Jared on, my husband. How's it going? And Jared, what are we going to post on today? We're rocking some waffle things. Woo! Created things that you didn't know that you could cook in the waffle iron. Jared, what do they need to do? They need to subscribe, give us a good thumbs up, and buy yourself a great waffle maker. That's right. Let's get started. Number one, let's start off with the healthiest one of the batch. Get an apple, slice it into thin slices, and then throw it right on your hot waffle iron. Wait a couple minutes, and you've got this soft, delicious apple. Throw on some cinnamon and sugar, and it is a perfect dessert to any dinner. On to idea number two. Have you ever used your waffle iron to make cheese quesadillas? They turn out perfect. Easy to slice up, cheese is melted all the way through, and it is a great lunch, snack, or dinner, all in one. Davis approves. Coming up, we've got to switch out our waffle iron because our big waffle iron's getting too hot. Number three, mini pizzas. Get some biscuits in a can. You just get that in your refrigerator section at the grocery store. Open it up, and then you're gonna put in cheese, pepperoni, your favorite toppings that you like on your pizza. Pinch the edges of the dough closed so that the cheese doesn't ooze out. Then go ahead and plop it on the waffle iron. These will take about two to three minutes to cook. And you're gonna pour on some pizza sauce. And I didn't have any pizza sauce on hand, so we did spaghetti sauce, and it still turned out pretty good. Number four, two minute cinnamon rolls. Okay, right next to those canned biscuits, there is a can of canned cinnamon rolls, all conveniently located in your grocery store. Grab those and put them on your waffle iron. You're gonna cook them for about two minutes. Take a peek halfway through, and if they're not brown enough, close it back up again. After about two minutes, go ahead, take them out of the waffle iron, put them on a plate, and then you're gonna put frosting all over the top of them. Cooking it this way is a great way to speed it up. If you've got hungry little kids just waiting to be fed, grab the waffle iron. Now let's just take a moment and look at these beautiful cinnamon creations. Number five, bring life back into those day old donuts. Take a donut, put it in the waffle iron, scrunch it down, let it cook for about a minute is all you'll need. And it's gonna warm it back up and give it more of a crunchy texture. Then you're gonna grab, or I grabbed, the largest slab of butter ever and melted it on top. You probably don't need that much butter. Add some syrup and you've got some donut pancakes. The last one, a little bit more of a traditional idea, but you've got four squares in your waffle iron, so why not cook each one with a different thing for your breakfast? So you've got waffles in one square, you've got your eggs in another square, and then you've got your bacon in another square. Stack them all on top of each other, add a little syrup, and you have hot eggs, bacon, and a waffle all at the same time. All right, there are your ideas on different ways to use your waffle iron. Jared, what was your favorite? I think the apple one was the tastiest. Yeah. I love the apple. That was a little bit really, of cinnamon sugar. That was Just really that. good. Try that out tonight. You don't need, I mean, you just need an apple. Some cinnamon sugar, that's it. The kids loved all the gooey, messy ones, for yeah, sure. They 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 like those a lot. Don't forget, subscribe, big thumbs up. Michelle was on yesterday, great videos on tomorrow, and we will see you next Friday. Oh, wait. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel called How Does She for more food video ideas. Hi friends, this is Alice. <laughs> Mine's bigger. Mine's better.